Len Oliver for Parents and Students. <clears throat> Just going to show you this quick little video on how to turn in material uh, to me during this uh, situation and any other classroom activities. Well, as you can see right here, you are in my classroom. So I'm going to show you how to do it using a student account. So follow closely. So here is a practice student account that is from my class. And we take a good look here. We have uh, emails, we have attachments, but if we come over to compose over right there, we have the ability to pop open this, type in my name, be nice if I spelled it right, find it. Normally, you put in what the assignment is. April 9th, uh, science, if that's what it's called. And down on the bottom, you have a couple of attachment buttons. Okay, you have this one right here. That'll allow you to choose whether you're uploading it from your computer, and then you would just choose the file. Okay, and then click open, and you'll wait for it to upload. You could choose the Google one. And the good thing about the Google one is if you're in Google Drive and you choose recent, it is going to bring up the next one that you had been working on and the one before that and before that, which makes it a little easier to find. Okay. And the third one is to insert a photo. So if a student or your child has a picture of their work, you can drop it right into here or add it by using either attachment or by dragging it up. Now, the other way is through classroom. Each of the students have the assignments in classroom. So they come in through here, they come into classroom, they come into the assignment that is here and what they do is they can either add or create something or if I have something there just click it off as done by clicking add or create they can create the different things that are on here whether it's a slide sheet or doc they can link it if there's something else or they can bring something from their home computer and bring it up to here by just dragging it and putting it in there or by looking it up Okay, so there are a couple of different ways for them to pass in their work. But remember, if it is done by email, they will uh, still get the same marks, but you will probably get a message from me saying it was turned in through email. Preferably, it is Google Classroom, but so long as they get it into me, that's the most important aspect. This is Mr. Oliver signing out, and have a good day.